So that, that's the size of the palm trees. And actually, um, that plate size... Let me check what the plates are. Oh, there's other page layout. Ah, I hit the wrong one. I gotta wait. There we go. Cancel. And that's in millimeters. Let's go inches. Yeah. So it's actually coming in bigger than the plate size. It is. Photoshop it up. I know what to do. So then 20.83 by 13.89. That's a good layout. This is the size of the plate. So if I can change that to 20. I think Photoshop PDF is PDF. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Is it? This way it would work, but not the length. Okay, I mean, let's it try it that. File, save as. Oh, is it like export? So that's not even the right. I mean, what you're doing oh. right now is not going to be the right. Export. Size. Uh, so that that you may go to the right as plate then anyhow. Export as. I'm not sure. We know what jobs Where? are doing what size plate, but there yeah. I dropped it into 15 uh, uh, three eight. It's when okay. you drop it into the bigger one. PDF. Uh, uh, no, there is no. PDF. No, I think save as Photoshop PDF should be. Is that PDF? Photoshop yeah. PDF is the uh, same as? Okay. Uh, where is it? Okay. Let's do can that. Before you do that, can you cancel? cancel? Yeah. You do the image. Yeah. And uh, image, size. image size. I want to see how big this image is. Oh, it's a smaller. I checked it. You did Seven it right. by six. So. Okay. All right. And it's okay. okay, right? Yeah. And then uh, save as mm -hmm. PDF and desktop. Mm -hmm. Okay, save. And you don't need to preserve. I would actually cancel before you do that. Can no? Don't yeah. show again. No. 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 I wanted to like uncheck the preserve Photoshop editing capabilities. You don't need to do that last one. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, just do. Say PDF. Yeah. Okay. And then I probably have it here. So then, this is it, right? Yeah. So I'll put it in here. Yeah, these yeah, ones. So we just drag those to the other side. And the bottom one too? Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think you just, just the four it. top. What is what is the bottom one? The bottom one just came in. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just do remove? Uh -huh. And that yeah. one. That's the one. And oh, we should check. I see. Okay, this machine is different. <laughs> separating all yeah. of those colors. Yeah. Immediately, which is a good thing yeah. when you have a layers, we don't have to send out each layer like mm. we did with that. But this one right. is just it's we just sent smart. the image. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I mean, like it helps we just have to remember that. Yeah, it would help with registration too. Yeah, registration would be perfect with yeah. this one. I wonder if we can do with that. There's a one color now. Good. Now, if you double click the job, just double click double it. Click? It'll actually show you the size this, that this? it came in at. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. See Seven it? by six. Okay. Really, yeah. yeah. Now here's a case where I was saying that um, now if you have another image, say it's eight and a half by eleven, it's gonna fall a little different on the plate mm -hmm. than that one. And if you have another one that's eleven by seventeen, mm -hmm. so if you make up templates and you take that job and you place it in that template, and some people have guidelines. Like they might even just have one at the bottom saying this is the start of my print mm -hmm. so that they know when they place that image they can center it and move it down to right, that, right, that line right, right, and that's right. a good, you know, template to have yeah. so that you, it would make things easier for you and have one for each plate size. That way you know, you know, when you're running that plate size that that's what you would use. That's, so that's what I would do. The template should be which file? Just um, you would either do that in Illustrator or in Design okay. is where you would have the template. Media. Yeah. yeah. So you could do that in in Photoshop, mm. save yeah. it, and then place it yeah. in in Design or Illustrator, mm. and then output the job okay. as a save it as a PDF. Then. Right. And then then it'll take on the, that size, mm. and then that way when yeah. it comes in it'll be consistent every time. Because mm. the way you're doing it now, mm. it's gonna move. Mm -hmm. One size is gonna place one place, another size is gonna place another. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's how we did. That's how we did with that one. Yeah. Too. yeah. Make sure you do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. No different. It, it, 
it's just a different plate maker, but the, the concept is the same. I work on thermal laser systems, and the same, they do the same thing. Okay. So at this point, you see how it actually showed just by clicking at the size that it came in at? Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that um, the margin is going to be the distance from the edge. So we can go ahead and make a plate. If we look in here, we see that if I switch this to inches, that that was the 15 and 3 quarter plate. Mm -hmm. So let's grab a 15 and 3 quarter plate and actually run this shop. Yep, yeah, let's, let's grab this. I think they're underneath here. So there's, uh, there's the one size. This is the. Yep, this is it. All right. So you're just going to get a plate. Some people wear gloves when they do it. It's not that big of a deal. Just don't finger up the plate too much. And these plates are, I believe they're 8 mil. Yeah, these are 8 mil plates. That's another reason we're on setting 2, remember? Setting 1 was 6 mil, setting 2 was 8. Yeah. Okay, so what you would do is you would take your plate. Thank you. You would place it on here. These are registration pins. Mm -hmm. The main thing you want to do is just keep it in against these as you're sliding it in and take it right in. And then the printer will take it. Mm -hmm. Of course, it needs to say ready or it wouldn't have done that. So now it's going to take it in. It's going to get everything ready to go. And then at that point, we can go ahead and release our job. So go ahead. If you want to release the job, just uncheck that little box. Uh, yeah. No, the one below. Great. Oh, okay. And now go ahead and check it again. Check one. That way the next job that comes in it'll hold it. Uh, but it'll run this one. Okay. So now you see that it ran it. So it's going to actually start running. Okay. If you look, it's the same please wait because it's getting itself set up. Well, it looks like it starts heating up too. Oh, uh, no, that was just coincidence. Because they're separate from each other. They. They aren't communicating, that's not communicating with this. Mm -hmm. They have their own CPU brain uh, separately. So it's, a, it's manual. It is. Which is okay. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think we might be able to use it. And it you, but uh, if we don't use this bottom part for a certain job. You can just shut it off, and, but make sure that you run that cleanup cycle before you shut it down so that the, the rollers get washed with water, remember? and then shut it down, and then you can leave the shut down. If that's the case, and just make sure you empty your gum. So you don't want gum in there. Anytime gum's in there, just keep this in mind. Anytime that, yeah, just an empty bottle, leave it on there. But anytime there's gum in there, the machine should be on. Think of it that way. Because otherwise you take a chance of shutting it down for days with that, the roller sticking, and you don't want to do that. Before we shut it down, we should take the gum out of it, Put the warm water, run the cycle number four, which the sheets show. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, it takes like 10 minutes, and that's going to clean those rollers right. up. It's going to run that warm water over the rollers. Right. Then when that's finished, then you can shut it all down. I don't have to take the warm I take, water I'll definitely take that off, yeah, because that would grow algae after a while. So yeah, take oh, the warm okay. water off and, and dump it. And you can just leave the bottles off then, because you're not running so you it then. Yeah, if you're not going to run it, yeah. But oh, okay. you may have to. We're gonna, you'd have to see once you print once you once you want to use the bottom part, then you put the gum off. Right. Screw it in and then run it. Right. Yeah. If you're going to use the gum. If you don't want to use it, you don't. You don't need to put the gum off. Screw it in. Right. No. Right. Just empty bottle. Just empty bottle. Or an empty no. bottle or no bottle. You no can bottle. have either oh, one. Yeah. Either one. Yeah. And that's only if you're not going to use it at all. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know if it was ready. It's printing. Oh, there it goes now. It just started printing. So now you'll actually see, see your plate moving then. Wait, it just, it just now pulled it in, so now it'll start to print. And you'll see it moving slowly as it prints. No, after it prints, then at that point, um, you'll take it and you run it through the, right. the curing unit. Yeah. And then 
and then for the second one, what do you do? Just load the next one. Doesn't matter. But you have to wait till this is out and this says ready. Or it won't oh, let then. you load oh, the next okay. plate. Okay. Yeah, it always has to say ready before you load another plate. So, plate should be ready first before we chew the image, right? Right, and you want to make sure you put the right plate in. Meaning, because you have two different plates. Oh, we're going yeah. to probably keep using this size oh, okay. for a while. Okay. So, yes, that's uh, okay. So, that, I just want to remember the connection between this and that. Yeah, this is releasing the job to put it into the plate. Okay. So now we should see the, the palm trees. But on. even if I, by mistake I, I release the image, but if the plate is not ready here, then it's not going to do anything until I put the plate right. in, right? Yep. finished it'll be loose and I can just grab it out of here even though it still says printing now it says paper out and it came back to ready so now you'd be safe to load it now if you this is a black but that's blue keep in mind this is not this doesn't have colored ink in it this is fluid that has a dye in it so if you print a cyan plate or a magenta plate they're all going to be blue the image is going to be blue, but it'll actually be the characteristics of that collar. Uh, so if you would have printed that this job with the CMY Builder Black, yeah. you would have had a cyan, a magenta, and a yellow with different layers of that collar to make this black. That's but why it's you only want. It's going to be all like a blue. Oh, it'll always be blue in color uh, on the plate. Yeah, okay, but your ink, then whatever ink you're using, uh, would be, I know, but be the color. Can't can't see which one is cyan and a, a No, the only way you can do that working. is if you put, and some people do that, uh, yeah. some of my customers, they'll have imposition software, yeah. and they'll actually put the color in the name and they'll have it on, mm -hmm. they call it a slug line, oh. and they'll have it on the plate, so they'd know that this is Pantone 230, or, uh, or it's black, or whatever, yeah. Can we mark it out then? Okay, let's do that. Okay, so at this point, if we were going to run it through the processor, the curing unit, um, I would sit it down here, and you'll see that as soon as, after a little bit, I just made sure it was over that first sensor, now you can see the light kicking on, and then you should see this, it's going to slowly move, and that's how slow it's going to move through there, because it's going to make sure it bakes that image on there, then it'll gum it, and then it'll dry it and come out. So you could be making your next plate if you were making all of the plates now. Oh, okay. Right. Until that would be in, you just want to make sure you leave at least a two inch. They recommend 50 millimeters. It's a little under two inches. Just leave, leave about two inches between each plate so that they would never like come into contact. Like, you mean the top? Correct. Okay. So if you were getting ready to put your next plate on, you'd want to wait a while. So mm -hmm. it's in there and don't have it any closer than two inches to the next plate. And they also have a recommendation. I don't know if you guys will be running at this rate, but if you run four to eight plates in a row, they recommend waiting two minutes before you you run the next one through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a group, how do I wait another two minutes? Yeah, if you did like four to eight in a row. And the reason for that is is it gives the, the system a chance because the gum's applying itself right. to the, all these plates. And if you do like four or eight in a row, yeah. it's going to start to like not catch up. So if you give it like two minutes, it'll catch up and then it'll be ready again. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know that you'll be running that many anyhow in a row. We could. We oh, you could? could. Yeah. Okay. There, are, there are students in the waiting for to, uh, to okay. print, and we could okay. do a photo aid at a yeah, time. Yeah, then just keep that in mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you just uh, place the plate on it, and then it automatically yeah, is pulling Yeah, as soon as this gets past here, you remember there's a little black dot there? Okay. And that little black dot's actually a sensor. And then it has a mechanical sensor with an arm that's mm -hmm. back inside here. Okay. So... Don't push it into that mechanical arm. Just sit it on there and let it get past that first one and then let it take it into the, the arm sensor. 
Otherwise, you could get a, an error code. 